It is a beautiful windy Sunday here in Korea and what better way to enjoy this spring weather than walk the Changichon. Restoring the historic Cheonggyecheon began in 2003 at a cost of nearly 384 billion won. Each year, nearly 1.4 billion won is spent maintaining the facilities, and it's easy to see why. Solites flock here to enjoy this little respite from the urban jungle. But what many don't realize is that the Cheonggyecheon is actually divided into five separate historic zones, focusing on history, culture, and nature itself. The first zone of the Cheonggyecheon is the History Zone. It runs from Cheonggyecheon Plaza all the way through the Jungmo Royal Shrine. It includes such historic places as Gyeongbok Palace, the Royal Shrine, and several other key features of this historic city. Probably one of my most favorite things here in History Zone 1 is this painting of the procession. Detailing the accounts of the king going to visit his father, Crown Prince Sado down in Suwon. Now this parade included 6,000 people and a total parade length was one kilometer long. Now normally the king rides up front towards the middle of the parade, but not so in this case. He wanted to take care of his mother riding in that carriage right there. But of note that in the time of the Joseon, you were not allowed to depict the king. So in this picture right here, you have the king's horse, the servants carrying the umbrella to keep him out of the sunlight, but no image of the king. After an easy walk of 1.8 kilometers, you reach zone two through the heart of Dongdaemu. It's the culture district and focuses on modern conveniences and shopping. The thing I like most about walking the Cheonggyecheon is that it doesn't matter where you start or where you finish, there's always something to see. It's always lushly covered in green trees, vines, the sound of water permeates the air, and you're left feeling relaxed. Once you cross under Da Sangyo, you'll see that things become just a little bit greener. And that's because you're now in the nature zone. One of the more interesting historical markers on the Cheonggyecheon are these items right here. These are recreations of the stones used in ancient times when women would flock to the Cheonggyecheon to do their laundry. The zone was constructed to be a preserve for migratory birds. The use of the word harmony is designed to bridge the gap between the surrounding city and nature. Another feature of zone number four, the harmony zone, is this wall of transplanted bamboo. After 8.4 kilometers, I've come to the end of zone four. The Chungi Chan 
merges with another stream. From here, you can march on for another three kilometers before you reach the fifth and final zone, the Soul Forest Park. After that, you can explore that green land and make your way home from Tuxum Station. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. This video was sponsored in part by Korea.net, Korea Culture and Information Service.